Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the multi-protocol modules for the FR Sky X Lite. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at the IRX4 X Lite. This is the iRange X multi-protocol module for the FR Sky X Lite. This is the Vantec MPM Lite. They're both pretty much exactly the same. Uh, they both use the same multi-protocol module in them, so they're both basically identical. They'll run everything exactly alike. However, what we're gonna do today, since today's review is about the iRange X, we're actually gonna take these two apart and take a look at what's the difference. This one's a little bit more expensive. This one's a little bit cheaper. I think by like five or $10, this one's a little bit cheaper. Now, I did do a previous video on this, and uh, I can show you. I showed you how to bind your Fly Sky uh, or or anything, even the toys. So you can do all kinds of crazy things with these two exactly like. So in this video, I'm not going to show you how to use it because I did it with this video and they run exactly the same. But what we're going to do is we're going to take them apart and take a look at what's inside because I think that's a little bit more interesting because they're basically using the same module, just a hardware layout for the other components that are controlling the module are different. So we're going to see maybe one of them is not shielded, one of them is shielded. We'll see if the price does make a difference on the internals. So let's get cracking. All right, so before continuing on, maybe I should show you this. This comes with the instruction manual here. It tells you everything you can bind to. They're both exactly alike. You got your FlySky second generation, FlySky first generation. Uh, you can control PWM, PPM, IBUS, S you can basically control anything on the market. All the toys, Spectrum, Devo, DSM, everything here uh, is just pretty insane. Hi Sky. Um, yeah, it's just, it's crazy. Both of them will do exactly the same thing. And you can check the documentation online for these and they go into more detail. All right, so let's crack these guys open. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna crack this guy open. Now I did purchase this a while ago. This is the ES120 electric screwdriver from eDesign and I am in love. I'm telling you this. This is just, uh, just phenomenal, really. It just saves so much time on my hand. And um, yeah, just beautiful. Just watch it in action. Battery life is amazing also. So, all right, so this is the iRange X. This is the cheaper one than the MPM uh, Vantec Lite, which is uh, a little bit more expensive, about like five or 10 bucks. So let's crack this open. I have to loosen this a little here. All right, okay. So as we can tell here, they're connected via connectors. And let's just take a look at this board. So this is again, this is the iRange X. And as you can tell, this is the multi-protocol module that everything, any of these, even the larger ones use. So this is just always identical on all these multi-protocol modules. Now, the, especially the foreign ones. Now what we can do is take a look at the circuit that's controlling the module, whether it's the AT Mega, which is like the Arduino based, or whether it's the STM32, which is like the F1 microcontroller units. All right, so we pop this guy open. Let's just go ahead and pop the other guy open and uh, we'll start comparing here. Oh, this is so satisfying. All right, so this is the Vantec. This is the one that I made a previous video on. I showed you how to use it. They both, again, work exactly alike. And if you don't know how, I'll have a link down below. Now, when you pick the type of protocol you want to use, I highly recommend you boot your, reboot your, your, your controller when you do that, or else it just won't bind. And both of them, it does the same exact thing. So there is no difference in that perspective. So let's try to open this here. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this right there. All right, so now we're looking at the multi-protocol section here. Now this is here, this is the Vantic, the MPM Lite, and this is the iRange X, which is this review is about here. And as you can tell immediately right off the bat, this is the multi-protocol module. This is the four in one that allows you to play all these protocols on. And as you can tell here that the cheaper version, which is the iRange X has a shielding and shielding is very necessary. And it's really recommended to have shielding on such a thing because your internal uh, 2.4 gigahertz of fill still running for some reason that could cause some interference and some other things also can cause interference on the circuit So to see this one shielded is actually pretty uh, Surprising I thought this one would be the one that's shielded and just been or should I say just designed a lot better So that's just one little thing. It's not a really big deal breaker But it is really nice to see that the multi protocol I range X does have the shielding set up here now let's see the microcontroller units that are controlling these and I truly believe yeah they're going to be identical they are using the they are using both both are using the same exact microcontroller unit which is the STM uh, 32F1 which is the one I recommend for such a module now for the bigger versions like the QX7 you have one that comes with an 80 mega microcontroller unit which is a little bit slower and I really I had a lot of issues with that one before the the STM version is the better version here in my opinion but again, you know, it's up to you. But at the end of the day, I truly believe that the F the STM32 version is the best version to use. 
Overall, the circuitry looks basically identical. I mean, th this is an open source hardware design or open hardware design, and it was an open source project as well here. But personally, I mean, just from looking at the board here, I really think that the iRange X was um, is actually slightly better in, in, in build construction and build quality here. All right, so basically they're 100% identical other than one fact, which is the shielding here. And there, there's nothing you know else that is any different from, from both of these here, actually. Uh, I wish that, I think the this is the, the MPM Vantec, which is a little bit more expensive. I think it is created by uh, FR Sky. However, FR Sky, what I've noticed actually lately on them is they do kind of half ass their hardware. And I have an update video on such a thing that happened to me with one of their latest products, but I'll keep that for another video. But overall, you know, you're you're paying ex you're paying a little bit more for the Vantech, but actually you're getting a little bit more with the iRange X when it's even a little bit cheaper. So overall, these will work exactly the same. These will have the same firmware running, the same everything. However, this one is shielded and this one is not. But that is the only difference. It's not really a big difference, but the shielding does really help. And it's just, you know, it's a little bit cheaper. and It's the same exact thing you're getting here. So overall, um, if I were to go and purchase one, I mean, I'd purchase whatever's in stock currently. I just double checked the uh, NPM Vantic currently right now. It's not in stock. So this one would be in stock. So you can just go pick that up. You don't have to wait for this one. They're both exactly identical. And even the iRange X, you're getting a little bit more since it just seems a little bit of a better build quality or just a little bit more thought out because of the shielding here. And they are using the basic 4-in-1 uh, multi-protocol module, which is what the firmware is running on. And here it's just built into the PCB. Here it's used as a module, which is just plugged into the PCB and then using the other circuitry here to just control it. Here they try to do the whole thing integrated into one piece. Maybe that's why it's a little bit more expensive. Maybe it has a couple more layers, but you know, they should have at least added the shielding. As you can tell, they do have the shielding trace for it, but they didn't do it for some reason on the MPM Vantec. And again, I would personally recommend you pick up the iRange X here. It's a little bit cheaper and it's the same exact thing. And well, that's going to conclude it for my video, guys. I really hope this video was helpful to someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And if you can support me on Patreon, that would be absolutely awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.